Bright-eyed but somewhat wary of the television camera, Adeline Rinaldi snuggles next to mom. When her youngest of three was in her womb, Jenny Rinaldi had little reason to worry. I delivered her naturally, and when she was born, you could tell right away she couldn't breathe. Adeline couldn't breathe because she was born without a rib cage. A closer look showed more bone missing. Just this is bone. She has her femur and she has no hips and her head is just smushed in the back. Adeline was born with the most severe form of hypophosphatasia, HPP. Doctors gave her little chance of surviving. There was an option, a drug trial in Pittsburgh. My husband asked the neonatologist, what's our other choice? And he said, nothing. The company behind the clinical study, Alexion Pharmaceuticals. Dr. Martin Mackay heads up research and development. We only look to come up with treatments that are truly transformative, make a big difference to the life of the patient. The breakthrough drug, the now FDA approved Stranzik, is doing just that for Adeline. This disease, it was known that the patients lacked an enzyme. There was a genetic mutation. Researchers came up with a way to replace that enzyme, then directing it to affected areas of the body. Because of the lack of this enzyme, there's a buildup of another chemical, and it's this chemical that prevents bone being formed properly. In three months, the bones Adeline didn't have are clearly visible, from a rib cage to her hands. You can see all of her bones in her. Her hips. You can see her bones all developing in there. And head. The only soft spot is where she should have a soft spot. Adeline's prognosis? Cognitively, she is right on track with any other 18-month-old. Um, physically, she's behind. She's unable to walk yet. Um, but we have hope. There's no reason to believe that she won't get there.